Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's step into the cockpit of a light sports aircraft and experience the demo flight. After that, we'll walk through the company's workshop, understand better how these light aircraft are made, as well as explore the market and business dynamics. So let's get it started. So you might be thinking, what's LSA? Basically, it's a category of single-engine propeller-driven aircraft that are easier to fly and licensed than traditional general aviation aircraft. And this type uh, classification was set up by the FAA in 2004. By the way, that's a Camo 32 landing in the background. We're flying a special LSA or SLSA, which are factory built and can be rented and also used for flight instruction. Engine start. Garmin G5, G5. Garmin 60, uh, 660. General aviation is at a very early stage here in China. This is one of 800 public use air airports of which less than half are fully certified. In a skewed uh, comparison, the U.S. has over 5,000 general aviation plus public use airfields, airports, plus about 15,000 private use airstrips, which is reflective of a very mature and affluent market. Runway 03. Runway 03. The flight experience was just great. The aircraft felt very nimble and agile. Controls are light and crisp, and it's very stable even in sudden turn and pitch maneuvers. Basically, you can throw it around in the sky and it's forgiving. Now, as we step inside Star Air Company's uh, facilities, we see a lineup of pre-delivery SA-60L Aurora aircraft, some of which have completed about five to eight hours of flight testing and others in the process of inspections and tests. The aircraft has been certified by CAC in China, the FAA in the US, and CASA in Australia and sold in those markets. The Rotax engine accepts both 95 RON and FGAS. Now let's take a quick look at the manufacturing process. The fuselage, wings, major control surfaces are molded from carbon fiber and then bonded with adhesive. Then in the mid-assembly line, all parts and components converge, wings and fuselage are mated, wiring harness, engine, avionics, uh, linkages are installed and cockpit work done. Then it goes for painting work before a flight testing begins. And here we see a bunch of aircraft at the end of their production line. In the meantime, a fresh aircraft rolls by me for inspections and tests before moving on to the flight line. So manufacturing this light aircraft require balancing technical rigor capital investment and complex navigation. It's not just about building aircraft, it's about building trust in safety and certification across many regional jurisdictions. Numbers wise, uh, the estimate is about 7,000 of this kind of aircraft globally. 
and discount does not include experimental kit built and uh, ultralight aircraft. And growth is expected to be 7% CAGR, reaching about $3.5 billion by 2035. China is pushing to expand its low-altitude economy with general aviation and light aircraft seen as a new economic pillar. So companies like Star Air are riding the wave as well. Over the last couple of years, the company has built around 400 aircraft. Next year, they're increasing their production by 50% to build an additional 100 aircraft as they cater to increasing demand. Today's was quite an extraordinary visit, a rare look into a Chinese light aircraft from the sky to the facility itself. If you enjoyed this inside look, give the video a like, drop a comment on what surprised you the most, and hit subscribe for upcoming explorations into aviation, automation, and robotics.